motherfucking dead man walking right there. Thank God you made it to the you fucking press conference, bitch. You know what, Shane? You made it to the fight. I made it to all my fights. I made it to all my fights. I made it to my fucking fights too. On weight. On weight. On weight and cocaine free. On weight and cocaine free. We'll see you motherfucker. We'll see you motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. You're not scary to me. You're not scary to me. A lot of yip yap. You ain't scary to me. You ain't scary to me. Oh, yeah. Somebody, man. Somebody, man. It is the press conference right now. First press conference. Um, you know, the boys, they're waiting on us at the, uh, at the lobby. When we pulled up, they wouldn't do a whole lot of rah-rah, but it's easy to do that when it's a controlled environment. You know, we got all these security guards around and cameras. That ain't no tough guy shit. And I want you to step right into the mark, and as you do, I want that eye line to come right up into the camera. Somewhere in my head, I'm still a white knight Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head, I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing Finish up shooting the commercial March 25th, live Showtime pay-per-view, MGM Grand Las Vegas It's going down Somewhere in my head, I'm still a white knight Flying across the plains into my last fight Somewhere in my head I'm still a hero Work my way back up from pretty much nothing There's not much time, but I've got time To see as he was just in his chair saying that his strategy is to throw punches and bunches. So, what, without giving too much away, do you have a particular game plan or strategy when you're fighting a fighter like that? You know, there's various things that you can do against, you know, people who are throwing volume punches. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've got, got a great IQ, I've got a great team around me, we've got a great game plan in place, and uh, we'll tune in. This is a big fight, and uh, this is what the fans have been asking for. And so, we've done our job on holding up our end of the couch to give, you know, the boxing fans and the boxing world what they want. And now it's just time for the, you know, the viewers at home to do their part and uh, tune in. Quick couple of questions. First, I just want to say, you know, congrats on the big KO versus Darrell. Um, what can you bring from that fight into this fight with Benavides? Um, you know, it's just another piece of experience, you know, in a big time fight against a former two time world champion. And um, as I've said before, you know, experience is something that you can buy. You got to go through the fire to get it. And, uh, you know, I've done that my last couple of fights, and that's, you know, precious experience that I get to bring into this fight. Of course, coming from the Ville, Nashville, but now living out of Las Vegas, he's known as Sweet Hands. Caleb Sweet Hands Plant. That means interim belt next. And, um, you know, the winner of this fight comes Canelo's mandatory for the WBC world title. Uh, so I'm exactly where I want to be. I'm in the fight that I want. Yeah, yeah. David said, let me talk. March 25th, you ain't got to worry about me pulling out. Show up. Show you, up. Show uh, up. I'm going to show up. Take care of those fresh hands. Yeah. Okay, show up. Because remember, this ain't my first big fight. We want to see you. This ain't my first show one. I've, I've been here before. Show up. And show I've done up. it. Show up. And when I show up, I show up on weight. And I don't test positive for cocaine neither. So this don't worry about me showing up. You've been knocked the fuck out already by Canelo pushing you to sleep. That's don't. exactly what I'm going to do to you. Hey, Boy, at, the, you're fucking, at the highest level, great at the fighters highest level, fight great fighters. You still hit like a bitch. You got 13 fucking knockouts. Say what? Fucking fight. You hit like a little bitch. Ask uh, Anthony Durrell. What, what, what I do to Anthony something? Durrell? Let him finish. 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 You ain't gonna do nothing. You're scared. You're scared. Look at you. You're scared. There's a lot of tough guy, rah rah stuff. You know, yeah, even. Yeah, this fucking guy he, fucking looks like he's about to cry. Look at his fucking eyes. I see. A, I know a pussy when I see one. Yeah. Even his dad, you know, senior, he he calls all types of fighters bitches and pussies. And, I respect you everybody. Know, you, you a bitch. You, you I respect may, everybody. You may um, you know, you may hear a banner between fighters. You may even hear a fighter say something like, "I've never lost to a white boy, and I'm not about to start now." Who the 
fuck said we, that? When did I? Did I Anthony Durrell? I'm, 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 do, I'm not talking about Anthony you. Anthony Durrell, so don't fucking don't bring that up. Like if I'm the one saying that shit too. I didn't say you said that. Finish what the fuck you gotta say. Then shut let the me, fuck up and quit Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We could have got outside the fucking hotel. You're a fucking pussy. You already fucking people with you. This dude ain't scared. He keep, right. He's so mad. He's so mad. You're not going to do nothing. We saw what you did to Anthony Durrell. What does David Benavidez need to know about Caleb Plant and the power he has in his hands on March 25th? Um, just, you know, March 25th, I'm coming. I'm fully prepared. And um, I've been at this level before. I've done this before. And I know what it takes. And so, you know, from now until March 25th, it's really just about who can train the hardest from now till then and who can keep their foot on the gas without taking it off during camp. From the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. How important is it for you to let everybody know and show everybody that you're better than David Benavides? Yeah, I mean, I, I've let everybody know, but I'm not with the yelling and the rah-rah, so um, uh, I want to show you so. That's John Wooden, coach. Guitar. For. Uh... <laughs> Good to see you, man. Thank you for being here. How are you? This way, please. Que pelea 25 de marzo a través de Showtime. Caleb Flynn va a enfrentar a David Benavides y está con nosotros en ahora o nunca. Venga, venga, no se lo pierdan. Listo. I ain't in shape like you, so I gotta do it like women do. Black is slimming. All right, one, two, three. I love you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, long day, a lot of tension in there. Kind of just walk us through the day. Not on this side. Yeah, ain't no tension on this side. We're relaxed. All that, you know, tough guy shit, all that raw, raw, that loud stuff. Real tough guys don't act like that. So, you know, it sounds good for the cameras and, you know, but we're not here to act. We're here to be for real. I mean, obviously, this is not the first time someone's trying to smack Yeah. And what happened to the last guy? He got his fucking soul snatched out of his chest. <sighs> so, I don't care nothing about that. What happened? You arrived earlier. What do you think that was all about? Trying to get in your head? Just the uh, same thing, everything else, you know, for the cameras waiting for us in the lobby so that, uh, you know, when we pulled up, he could act like a tough guy. But, um, you know, when you got 16 security guards and Showtime cameras, you know, that's a real controlled environment. And um, I can guarantee you Jose Sr. or David, really, you know, they wouldn't be acting that aggressive if it wasn't such a controlled environment. Um, highlight of the day, uh, you know, probably just getting to, you know, get some things out on the mic. Um, you know, the narrative of like being scared or, or ducking, you know, just being able to say my piece. I'm not really too much on the rah-rah and the, you know, all the tough guy shit. You know, real tough guys, they, they, they don't have to force things like that. They ain't got to act like that. So, um, it was a good day. A lot of interviews, got a lot of things done. About to get back to Vegas and get back to work.